Production of Insulin Through Genetic Engineering DNA molecule is a complex structure with histone proteins. The enzyme protease breaks up histone proteins into amino acids, thus separating them for the double-stranded DNA. The location of the gene on DNA that enables insulin production is determined. This area should be cut and separated from the DNA. One of the restriction enzymes unwinds the double-stranded DNA. The other one cuts out the gene that encodes for the production of insulin from DNA in a way to produce sticky ends. This piece is attached to the previously cut bacterium plasmid by an enzyme with the help of DNA ligase and thus recombinant plasmid is produced. This recombinant plasmid that now carries the insulin is then transferred to Escherichia coli bacterium. The bacterium multiplies by binary fission repeatedly. All of the bacteria produced carry the gene that is responsible for the production of insulin. The recombinant plasmid, which has the gene that enables the production of insulin in the bacterium, is isolated and transferred to the cells in human pancreas, which cannot fulfill their duty of producing insulin. After this procedure, the cells with transferred genes start producing insulin again. Hence, diabetes patients are treated.